Hey girl, welcome back. Girl, look who we got on the show today. We got Miss Jennifer Hudson. Welcome Jay Hud to the show, y'all. Listen, we have to call her back to the show because we enjoyed Jay um J Hood, honey. She said she preferred to be called J Hood, but I'm like, girl, I can't I can't guarantee that's what I'm gonna call you because um I just can't figure out a good name to call her. I know I know her name is Jennifer Hudson. So I'm trying to find J H. Okay. J Hudson. Jen Hood. Girl. I don't know. I don't know. It all sounds very section eight, but we're gonna go ahead and move on, girl. So we're gonna see what can we expect from Miss Jennifer Hudson in 2023? Okay, girl, she she girl, she been manifesting all in 2022, girl. So 2023 should be awesome for her. Okay, and manifesting, aka, okay, she been doing it all. She been doing it all, you know, since she been on the scene. So we're gonna see what do we got in store for Miss Jennifer Hudson. For 2023, Divine Angels, if you could, please give me the best cards from this deck to, to describe the upcoming year, or this year, with Miss Jennifer Hudson. What can we expect from her in 2023? Okay, let's do it. Alright, girl. Come on out with the energy, Miss Jennifer. What's going on, girl? You can talk in a day, honey. You better not be lying, Jennifer. I'm not playing. Because you're too eager. Okay. You're too eager. I don't know what's going on with you. Okay. We'll just take that, girl. Thank you, girl. So, let's see. All right, girl. Okay. So, we got the 10 of ones. Okay. She's going to be working too hard. Or too many hours, honey. Yeah, they got her working hard over there on that Ellen, Ellen show, girl. I mean, I'm sorry, the Jennifer, the Jennifer Hudson show. Girl, they got her working too, too many hours and probably not, you know, it's not nowhere near as much pay as Ellen was getting. How much you want to bet? Okay. Allegedly. Okay. So she was there working hard for less to pay, but half to pay. And she needs to um, need the balance for in her life. Okay. And she needs to let others help her. That's going to be type of health problems due to stress. Wow. And for half the pay, girl, so she carrying a lot of heavy ones, I mean, heavy burdens and ones, girl, with this 10 of ones energy, stressed out, going to be looking like an old lady by the end of the year if she don't get things together. Girl, we got the six of ones again. It's a lot of ones energy here, but this one speaks about victory. It says wise choices that bring public recognition and success. Re uh, that's going to be some type of promotion. Okay, good. Finally. Okay. Maybe somebody's going to see this video and see that she on, they paying her half and up the pay. You can thank me later, Jay. So, that's going to be some type of wise choice that bring public recognition and success. Promotions, awards, and scholarships. Scholarships. Girl, that girl need no scholarship. Get a girl a promotion. Get this girl a raise. Get this girl a pay okay moolah okay grown folks don't we don't need no we ain't playing games in 2023 okay but we got some ego issues oh okay girl somebody gonna have a big head y'all with the ego issues now this look like some type of masculine en energy may be coming in okay coming in let me say to manage you know how they love to come in and let their husbands manage them jennifer you better not do that girl anybody who come in right now girl just don't even tell them where you live okay he don't deserve it okay it says the illusions of being trapped oh okay girl she done got in too deep in the show girl bless her heart and she be looking stressed too girl she she be looking all dazed out and zoned out and they got that show all colorful and pretty but it's just like jennifer it's like she trying her best to keep up I mean, and ain't gonna dog a girl. They ain't gonna dog the girl, cause the girl out there trying to work hard. From when I see in these cards, she trying her best, and they still just swinging at her, just probably being critical. Do this, do that, and then she feel like she trapped. And it's that it's like accept responsibilities for your situations. Oh, okay, excuse me, girl. The Divine says she needs to accept the responsibilities, honey, cause nobody didn't tell her to go apply for the job. 
It says accept the responsibilities for your situation and then make choices that support your path to happiness. It says there's some type of addictions or unhealthy habits here. Oh, Lord, girl. I hope they ain't trying to give this girl no type of, here, take this. This will keep you up. Take this. And then next thing you know, she hooked on something. If not already, girl. They're talking about some type of addiction. Ego issues, okay? Then we got the Ten of Cups. Okay, that's good. That's like a happy marriage. Happy, happily ever after. Okay, that's cute. That's definitely really cute. I love that for her. Emotional contentment, a loving relationship with your children, raising children wisely and successfully, people you can trust. So she is having going to have a Ten of Cups moment in 2023, which is good. Now, whether that's going to be somebody she's going to meet and be a happy marriage or just, you know, setting a good balance for when it comes to her children or her child. I think she only got one child, if I'm not mistaken, but girl, don't. Don't, don't depend on me, girl. I just think it's just one child, but it could have been two. Or it's that Fantasia. Girl, I'm, I think I'm confused, girl. Let's move on. So, it says, a loving relationship with your children and then raising children wisely and successfully. That's that's always good. And then she's saying that she can have people around her she can finally trust in the final, kind of like later on in the year. Because at the beginning. Then we got a beautiful new emotional new emotional experience so this could also be a love a real love interest that's going to come into her life not one that's hollywood girl okay but he coming in with his cup this person or at least she got her cup it's an emotional a romantic relationship a deep friendship awakening of the psychic ability of spiritual insight a love letter a new home okay girl probably don't have nothing to do with no man it could be her just you know finally getting her raised okay you know, making sure her son is good, spending time with her kids, and then also getting a new home, okay? But she got to fight for it, girl. And then we got this knight, okay? We got a knight coming in, a knight of pentacles. It's somebody that's coming in with a little money. So this could be somebody that's Hollywood as well, you know, because since he coming in with a little pentacles, he ain't coming in with much because he coming in with a knight. But it's somebody that could be loyal, dedicated, protective, but he may be a little apprehensive. Okay, how he gonna be apprehensive? You apprehensive, baby, stay away. Okay, I don't need all that. Okay, or well, excuse me, they ain't got nothing to do with me, honey. <laughs> it's about this baby. It says plan carefully before taking any actions, but then go. Okay, it says pay attention to the details, wait for the perfect timing. It's a guardian angel or someone who watches over you. Oh, that's precious. Now, who's watching over her? Okay, is it some okay? Let me just mind my business. Okay. So, well, you know, you know, air, girl. Okay, I'm just gonna focus on the reading, girl. But this, this, like I said, this could be a knight. But then it said it, it could also be a guardian angel or somebody that's coming in as a mentor, somebody that's gonna be so-called watching over her, a handler. Okay, allegedly. Hmm. Okay, and then yeah, somebody from her childhood or somebody from her past. Okay, it says children or childhood, revisiting old dreams or plans, embracing your inner child, the return of people or romances from your past, romant rom romanticizing how things used to be. And this, this could be a, a ex that, you know, that got away, or this could be that old ex that got away, and you glad he got away, and you rethinking things as if it was better than what it was, but it wasn't. And then you let him come back in, then you remember why you broke up with him in the first place. Okay. But girl, he coming back. Okay. So next we have the Queen of Swords. Okay, he coming back and she got her swords ready for him. Okay. So it's a brilliant experience. Somebody that's humorous. Somebody that's funny, girl. I hope it ain't Marlon, girl. That was so fake. I don't need no fake relationships coming back in this girl life. Okay. But it says judgmental. Releasing situations or people that no longer serve you. Girl, you've been doing that. Girl, you've been cutting. Um, girl, let me mind my business. It says seeing the humor in difficult situations and focusing on career, divorced or unmarried individuals. Girl, so I'm seeing this girl at the beginning of the year just stressed out, okay? Trying to balance out work, okay? And then she's probably trying to balance out home life, okay? We got people swinging their swords at her, throwing ones at her. She, she, she kept catching a lot of backlash, okay? A lot of, um, 
if it ain't, you know, from the audience, not the audience per se, but like, you know, the ratings or the people she work with. Now, it's a lot of red here, okay, at the beginning. But then we got here at the ego. It's like cutting the chains here. There's some type of illusions. You're feeling trapped and you're trying to, uh, but it says accept your responsibility, girl, okay? And then it says make some choices here. But then you're going to start, you're going to decide to choose, you know, your personal life, okay? Focusing more on family, kids. Stuff like that. And then you got somebody coming in with an offer, okay? An offer of love, okay? He got a few little pentacles, girl. He got a couple, okay? Somebody from your, her past going to come in. And then she's going to sit here, you know, even though she's holding her sword up. But she's probably going to let this person come in, okay? But, you know, this is somebody from her past. But it seems like a divorce or something. Somebody that, girl, I know, is it Otunga? Is it Otunga coming back, girl? I don't know. So let's see. Let's pull a few more cards on her. Okay. So it seems like when her, you know, love gonna be possibly be good for her next year with this Ten of Cups. Um, uh, you know, a lot of stress when it comes to work, but it's like she living her dreams though. But it's stressful as crap to her. Um, but then I see a lot of cups in the reading too. You know, with love and emotions, family. You know, a lot with children. I don't know if she's going to be having a child. We got the false card that wanted to come out here. We got fake pe people around her, but she said she's cutting, up, cutting out all the fake people in her life. So, that's not going to be a problem. So, what else can we expect from Miss Jennifer Hudson? Okay. It, like, girl, it's the possibility of marriage for Miss J. Hud in 2023. Okay. Yeah, the false person said it's coming out whether I want it or not. So we got marriage here, girl. Y'all, I be wanting to see love, real love here, okay? But this could be a partnership also, you know, with business, okay? This could be um, any type of contract. This could be a love contract, you know? You love your job, and then after a while, you don't like it no more because some people being sneaky, somebody you can't trust, a masculine energy that you can't trust. But then again, honey, you wearing a mask too, so who can be trusted here? We got a mature man here. Okay, this is an older man or a lover. And then we got courthouse. So I don't know if they're gonna go to the girl, if they're going to the courthouse, get married, and girl, and he gonna come in swing. He the one coming in with this plan. Like this person coming in with some type of plan for her. Okay. Plan of marriage coming in with a cup. I mean just one cup too. But you know, he said that's all he got. And then this courthouse here, it's like, is he going to go to the courthouse to get married, girl? Or do he want to divorce soon as he get married? Thinking he's about to get half this girl money. We got privileged lady here. Expectations. Honey, yeah, we got somebody look, having some type of expectation when it comes to the lady with money, honey. Girl... Jennifer, please, I just want you to have happiness one time, okay? Or do I? Because did you really sacrifice your family? Because if you did, then, girl, you're just getting your karma. But if not, girl, everybody deserves happiness, okay? Give me more about her love life. What can we expect for Jennifer's love life here in 2023? They said love calling, honey. Love calling her name. Now, will she answer? We got, oh girl, a karmic relationship. Yeah, it's going to be some 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 man going to come into her life. Girl, she's making money now. And it's some he's going to come in and turn her world upside down, honey. It's going to be some resentments and some lessons that's going to be learned here. Like I said, it's going to be a, this a karmic relationship. So this is sister's karma. Girl, he probably calling now. Someone expresses love. It, it says a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know it. He letting you know he's been thinking about you. He saw you on the show today. He know you getting paid. He said he's going to come through and visit. If, it's, if that's all right with you. Okay. And he said if he can use your credit card so that he can go buy you a wedding ring. Okay. So he can propose to you because you deserve the best. So he says keys on the ring. There's many options here. Okay. It's an unconventional type of thing. It's a one night stand, honey, that he's going to say, Oh, we're meant to be. 
Okay, yeah, you meant to be, but you're a karmic relationship. So it's like, you know, with karma, you know, what goes around comes around. So this keys on the ring. This is a one night stand, honey. That's how you're going to creep in. But it's going to be all about heartbreak, heartbroken, deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, losing, loss, grieving, mourning. Okay. Got to make healthier choices, baby. Making healthier choices in love and in life. Self-love, self-care, and being happier with a wedding ring. Okay. Union, married, soul connection, promise, everlasting promise. So, girl, they probably going to bond because they saying that they, oh, I experienced heartbreak in my past. Me too. And then next thing you know, honey, they're going to get together. It's going to be a relationship that seems like it's going to move fast because it may be going courthouse. And, girl, she's going to say this is her soulmate, but it's really her karmic relationship, girl. But it's something that she needs to learn from this relationship, Okay self-love girl it's the, that's the ultimate message okay give me more about this wedding rings okay girl the wedding rings it says the phoenix honey you gonna fly in like the phoenix honey it's gonna be a new phase a rekindle so this is still giving me somebody from her past a renewal a transformation a growth somebody changed their mind about her honey we got the sunglasses, though, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out. So, this somebody that's stalking, watching, okay? Now, stalking is such a strong word, but, girl, you've been paying attention to this girl, and you're going to come in, okay? I don't know if this is going to be her new handler, but, you know, he's going to come in, love bomber, okay? And it's just see a lot of falseness here. Okay, but I don't know what what is he gonna do. I mean, what is he trying to do? What is he trying to do when he come in? Okay, we got the tree and the gentleman, honey. He's trying to come in. It's it's speaking about health. Okay, mind. Ooh, reflection. Girl, he's trying to come in and play mind games. Okay, no wonder he showed up with perceptions, focus focusing out. Oh, he coming in to play with a mind, baby. Change mind. Oh, you coming in to play mind games? Why? Who sent you? Who sent you, gentlemen? A mature woman. Ellen sent you? Ooh, the lover. Honey, the mature woman sent him. Girl, a lover. Girl, do y'all recognize these people? Okay, because tell Jennifer when they coming, honey. They are coming. They checking out. They got some expectations for her. Okay. And they don't look like no Ellen. I don't know who that is. Okay. We got this black man here, girl. Give me more about this gentleman. Who's this gentleman? Girl, he the one gonna be jumping in the DM, girl. Okay. Well, the main female girl, the official person, Corden. So yeah, he gonna whoever he is, gonna he, he coming in sending the message here. He is definitely sending the message. But this right here is a message of concern, concerning her path, the path, the road that she's gonna be traveling, going moving forward in 2023. It's a concern here. Okay. He, he showed up as a false person, so she should be concerned about this person. Okay? The mature woman sent them, girl. Okay? The mature woman, they said she a lover. Or a lover of for, for him. Girl, I don't got time. I can't be in this lady business like this. This is too much drama for me. But, like I said, we got this tent, a happy marriage here. A happily ever after here for her. So, hopefully, I mean, he got good intentions, okay? He's going to come in and handle the money, handle the, handle the bills, handle everything, okay? As long as he giving her a little love here and there, he be taken care of. So, I mean, and as long as he babysit the kids while she's doing the show, I guess that's a relationship, girl. That's a relationship. So, that's going to conclude the reading for Miss Jennifer 
Hudson. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the next one. Talk to you later. Bye.